Nice pass inside, one pass too many. We're gonna stay here, beautiful crossover back over, previous possession by Meredith Cox. Yeah, she looked more like Cheryl Swoops on that play. Right, now let's see, uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like Dolan Catholic is going to uh, be in a man-to-man -man here, even with the inbounds under the pie's basket. Manser over to Rain Reber. Now Cox has been on Mooney. She, the coach figures, I guess Mooney's the one that they've got to control since she orchestrates the offense from her point possession. Dump it into Payton Norris. Strong take. Unfriendly roll, but Manser battling hard on the offensive glass. We've got a reach in foul. Now you talk about an unfriendly roll, Bernie. Uh, it, it's very evident that the basket at the four far end, which is the basket Pye shot in the first shot at at the first half, is a lot looser rim than the stiffer rim up here. Let's see if that has any bearing on whether shots get the friendly roll or not. Baseline jumper by Brady doesn't drop. Here come the Squires. Cox stops, spots to Jay, no. Morris clears the glass. All right, what you want to avoid here is any extended drought of not scoring in numerous possessions. Ryan Mooney for a tray, doesn't go down. 30-29, favor of DeLone Catholic. Meredith Cox penetrates, dishes. We've got a whistle, traveling violation. Gonna stay here. Right that time, uh, right that time I thought Cox should have maybe uh, come to a jump stop, Bernie, and shot the baby jumper. Pies did a good job with help defense there, and they had the wing player guarded. Another open look for Meredith Cox. Knocks a three ball in from the corner. 33-29. If you're gonna let her shoot, Bernie, she's gonna kill you. You gotta guard, guard her, be aware of her presence at all times. Nice save there by Manser. What an upside this young lady has. Ryan Mooney gets slapped in the eye, no call. Fortunately, they retain possession there. Referee standing right in front of us. Let's see it. Manser. Gonna get a timeout for St. Pius. Pat's Pest Control, serving the community for over 19 years. That's Pat's Pest Control, specializing in exterminating rodents, bees, and other insects. Qualified for FHA and VA home inspections, Pat's is your carpenter, ant, and termite specialist, state licensed and fully insured. Call Pat's Pest Control for all your pest control needs. Bernie, you mentioned about the official did not see Mooney get uh, raked uh, near the eye area. How many times, though, in basketball games, so we have players coming up holding their eye, holding their nose, where the officials just don't see them. It just seems that that's something they can't see. And uh, if you look at that Villanova injury last week in the Big East Conference tournament uh, to Allen Ray, and his eye was popped out of his head, no foul was called. Fortunately, it appears he will play in the, the big dance all starting this weekend. What an exciting weekend of basketball. There's so much incidental contact, and sometimes that incidental contact uh, turns into to injury, but officials just can't see it. And you can't expect them to see all those things. Nice screen away from the ball. Mooney does dials long distance, doesn't drop. Wing Lions down four. Make that six. Yeah, right. right now Pius is uh, in a situation again, down six early in the uh, third period that uh, the lone Catholic is on a roll right now where they're getting the ball to Cox, who's finding open teammates. It was precisely this situation in the first half where Pius answered with a 9-0 run. This is a team, St. Pius, that has won 15 out of their last 19. The chemistry right where it needs to be at the right time of the year. Ryan Mooney penetrates off the glass, clutch play. Yeah, that was a big play by Mooney. Good recognition. Uh, she beat Cox off the dribble and was able to take it all the way to the basket. Munchell in the paint, gives it up. Doesn't go. Right, here's Ryan Mooney. Now look at this penetration. Goes east to west then. 
North to south, right to the basket. Great recognition, good penetration there. Not good help by DeLone, allowing Mooney to take it all the way for the two. So at what point, a girl like Meredith Cox, who can fill it up the way she does, at what point do you give her extra attention? There's a huge bucket underneath by the Squire. Well, to answer your question, Bernie, uh, as soon as she gets off the school bus, when she arrived <laughs> in the parking lot, I'd be picking her up. <laughs> Now watch this. Look who gets the ball inside for the easy layup off an inbounds pass. That absolutely should not happen. Defenses have got a pinch down there, and that's one area you've got to protect the basket on inbounds. Let them pass the ball back out, take the deep three. Don't give them a layup. Chrissy Espenson, a very young nucleus of this St. Pius team, but they played well beyond their years as they won four consecutive District titles over to Rain Reber. Nice weave action. Mooney was rejected on the baseline jumper. Here comes Meredith Cox. She goes hard on Manser. Little scoop shovel shot off the glass. That was good defense by Manser. That was just a big time play. She just changed direction and uh, got the offensive positioning to finish that off. Great play by Cox. This is an elimination game. There is no tomorrow. You lose, your season is over. And the lone Catholic came out playing with that mindset. <laughs> well, look at look at Cox here. Change of pace, right there. Change of pace. Little head fake, and uh, unfortunately, Melissa Manser just a little bit out schooled. For three years from now, she might be able to stop that play, but. Not against Cox tonight, it's freshman against the great player. And she's a double-edged sword. She can put the ball on the deck and drain the three. She's got the ball again, spots a Jay Alcotton. Bernie, uh, Joe needs a timeout. He needs a timeout desperately. A big three by Rain, and she gets it. That was big. That, that absolutely needed, and then Pius is just, uh, the loans come out on fire this second half. And then most notably Cox, she's got everyone involved. Meredith Cox with a strong take. She finishes 44-34, 2.45 to the end of the third quarter. Espenson drains one. Nice shot for the young freshman. Maybe this is the pace Pies wants maybe to get back in the game. But you, you right now you can't afford to exchange field goals. You've got to get stops at the other end. Number three in a white shirt is a press breaker and a zone buster. Now she's got the best defensive player. In the Pac-10, the last four years, guarding her. The Squires pounding the offensive glass. Pius with possession. Here comes Manser over to Ryan. Rain with a baseline three ball. Front iron. Melissa Manser is omnipresent. Yeah, Rain thought she had that down, but uh, you're not going to get any bounces, as I said, on this particular rim, Bernie. This is really stiff. We are going to get a timeout St. Pius with DeLone Catholic up by eight. I'm a firm believer and enforcer in my slogan, information equals knowledge equals power. Whether it's in current events that affect our daily business or on technology to help improve the communication and exposure for my clients, these elements make me a better problem solver and negotiator, which are crucial in the real estate business. Wouldn't you want the best trained, most experienced agent working for you? Give me a call, Donna Russell. Welcome back to Conestoga Valley Senior High School. And we are watching the second round of PIAA girls action. The Lone Catholic, St. Pius X. Rain Reaver with the ball. Nice little spin move. Out to Mooney for an NBA three back iron. Good shot selection. Good ball movement by Pius. Bernie, but uh, just not consistent like they were during that stretch in the first half. But it's important they make a move here in a, uh, under two minutes in the uh, third period, Bernie. The silky smooth Meredith Cox with a long shot doesn't go. Battle for the ball underneath. The Squires retain possession. But we've got a traveling violation. 
Right. As I said, Bernie, now with a minute 39 to go in the uh, – or 34 to go in the period, if Pies could just maybe get within five points going into that fourth period, what, what definitely you don't want to do, you don't want them uh, the loan to extend this lead. So the next couple possessions, let's say three or four possessions uh, of this period are crucial for Pies to keep it close where in the fourth quarter anything could happen. And what better way to do it to the school's all-time leading scorers, Rayburn Mooney, behind the all-time leading scorer, Carol Glutz. Reber in the corner. 113 till the end of the third quarter. Wing lines down eight. And you can see the respect that Mooney's getting. The whole game guarded by number three, uh, Meredith Cox. Reagan Reber over. Over to Reagan Mooney, a big three ball by Reagan Mooney. Incredible shot. Pius Faithful, uh, some of them just arriving here. I guess they got lost on 23. Pretty direct route. Yeah, it was a nice drive down here. Yeah, for you, I was driving, Bernie. You were sitting back <laughs> sleeping, filling out your NCAA pool. <laughs> With your input. <laughs> well, if you want to win, you better have my input. 44 39, inside of 30. <laughs> Meredith Cox draws the foul. Okay, a, a good foul there. 26 seconds. The Pies got it to five, which is a key number. You want to keep it at five. See if they can't come up with a turnover here or at least a stop. That's not who you want getting the ball, and they've got a foul. Boy, that's a tough call. And that's her fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Is that on Reagan? I believe it's on Ryan Mooney. Okay, well, that's okay. I this is just a simple simple lob play here. Now watch. You, you, should, you should have had two people on her. You should have pinched her down so she couldn't get that lob over the top. Lawrence spots it front iron. 18 seconds. All right, take your time. Get a good shot here. Got Set plenty up. of time. Hold for one is the conventional thinking. Manser with a reverse layup. She gets her own rebound. That's amazing and play by Manser. Wow. Great play by Manser, Bernie. Cox with a long runner at the buzzer. And that was a mini run and a big statement for our wing Lions. They pull within the 44-41 as we head into the fourth quarter. There are several insurance agencies in the area, but none like Reed Dallas Insurance Agency. Why? Because our goal in doing business with you is designing a comprehensive protection plan for your company and developing a long-term relationship. We'll take time to get to know you and your business. With many different insurance companies to choose from, you can be confident in our ability to serve you for your business insurance needs now and into the future. Harleysville National Bank has been serving communities throughout eastern Pennsylvania for nearly 100 years. We'll greet you with a smile, listen to your needs, and recommend banking services that are right for you. Harleysville offers free checking, savings, investment and loan options, and even free web banking. Business customers can walk into any branch and find a commercial loan officer. Lending decisions are made locally, so you'll get quick loan approvals. Try Harleysville National Bank for all your personal and business needs. You're going to love this bank. Now watch this baseline drive by Manser. She didn't get the roll. I think she was fouled. Stayed with it, though. Incredible persistence there by Manser in a huge bucket. Now Pies is down three, Bernie, and now it's money time. This last eight minutes. Meredith Cox with a nice feed inside, doesn't go. Manser almost pulls off a steal, but it is going to be Squire basketball. We saw this girl two years ago. Al and I did a game right here, and her specialty at the time as a sophomore was assist. She has obviously developed all facets of her game. And she, no, we've got to reach in. Right. That's got to be on Meredith Cox, I believe. And Pius got a break there. Why would Meredith Cox be inbounding the ball under a basket? Pius really got a break. Now, see, Meredith Cox inbounds the ball, deflected by Nars, and then she goes right through Manser to commit the foul. And they just had an inbounds pass, Bernie, to Cox, who caught the ball in a nice little lob. Now, she was the inbounder this time. That's great for Pius. Let's see if they can capitalize. Ryan Mooney gives it up to Manser. Over to Reagan Mooney. Jamie Norris hobbled on that ankle, but so clutch in the first half. Manser escapes her defender. 
Well, she had a clear path to the hoop. Beautiful running one-hander by Ryan Mooney. Won't go. Held ball. Possession arrow St. Pius. All right, now watch this inbounds play. All right, Cox is now finding, trying to find someone to throw to. Norris. Now look at Norris. Bang. She gets hit right there in the face. I mean, she's been through enough, but she's battling through it, Bernie. Rain Reber was twisting and turning. Beautiful spin move. But we do have a turnover. We're going the other way. Yeah, and that, that's a big turnover there because it kind of was unforced. Uh, Rain had the, the penetration. She thought she had the automatic kick out, but Reagan, Reagan was, not in, uh, was not in place there. Rain Reber matches up better height-wise versus Meredith Cox. Turnover. Big turnover. 6.38 to go. All right now, Pius has got a cap. That's two, two consecutive turnovers. And, uh, you know, we've played almost a minute and a half here. Pius can get on the board here, put some pressure on Delone Catholic because they're thinking that their run may be over. Pies could put some pressure on them. Reagan Mooney with a trifecta. Doesn't go down. Bodies all over the place. Possession hour is going to go to DeLome. But every possession is important here. As I was trying to say, DeLome Catholic, and I was reading the comments in today's Mercury made by Meredith Cox about the pressure on their community, thinking that, well, they're going to go back to a fourth state title. My goodness, three in a row. And, uh, you know, this is not one of their better teams. This is a very good team. But uh, to expect this team to win four in a row is a little bit unreasonable. Big bucket inside, number 32, Schleich. Five-point advantage to Squires. The season on the line. Pies has had droughts and they've had runs. But uh, you can't expect that. Right now they've got to be consistent. Rain with a three ball, side iron. Rebound, DeLone Catholic. Another held ball, pious possession. We're staying here. Right now, now here's Slate again. A little high low pass from number 40, uh, Herman, and very nicely executed play. Rain in the corner. Dribble penetrate, kicks out, Manser. Back out to Norris. Ryan Mooney back to Manser, baseline jumper. The rolls they got the first half, Bernie, they're just not getting their, they've had a shooting drought as they begin this fourth period. Meredith Cox so good with her left hand and her right hand, feeds it to Herman. Easy look inside, number 32, Schleich, and we're in the danger zone now, yeah, down seven. Down seven, and I'd go for a timeout here. At seven points is a very dangerous deficit. Again, it's a very important lead when you have the advantage of seven. Stay calm, stay cool, execute your O. We're going to get a timeout. Coach Moss, Coach Morton, want to talk it over with the lone Catholic up by seven. You're looking for that slam dunk? <laughs> Well, you call Terry Musser because you'll get points on the board. Maybe I'm not that good at basketball anymore, but I'm still good at real estate. Give me a call. Welcome back here to PIAA Playoffs. If St. Pius wins this ball game, they will face the winner of Northwest Lehigh and Trinity at a site and time to be determined. We've got a doubleheader here today. The second game, a good Fairfield team against Pine Grove. Tom, this Stallone Catholic team almost not here today. They were down six points with four minutes to go in their game against Dunmore. But Meredith Cox, 26 point, single-handedly got her team to the second round. Well, see, Bernie, that's the result of her experience. Uh, certainly her, her ability and skill level. But the fact is, when you're a champion, uh, that's something special that you have and you never lose. And she's been through the wars and these pressure situations. Rain with a strong take. Doesn't drop. Reagan Mooney alertly gathers that rebound. Manser, nice move on the baseline. We're staying here. We've got a reach-in foul against the lone Catholic. On the other hand, now uh, the pious girls, most uh, especially uh, uh, Reber, Reber and uh, Mooney, they've been... 
We'll get back to that. Now here's Mancer's play. She takes baseline once again. She's given baseline and draws contact before the shot went up. Ryan Mooney misses. Mancer alertly grabs the offensive rebound, deflected out of bound. Last touch by the Squires. Bernie, I'm really impressed with the play of the last two ball games, especially by Melissa Mancer. I've gotten an opportunity to see her in a concentrated time period in the last two games. She's going to be a very good high school player. You get her, freshman. I totally agree. You get her in the weight room, she'll become immediately one of the best players in the pack. Oh, Bernie, she's not a wrestler now. She's, she's a basketball <laughs> player. You and your weight room. Uh, Let her, you get her to basketball camps and, and summer leagues. That's how you get better. I told my students today, Michael Jordan was in the weight room every day. It's part of the game these days. We're staying here, St. Pius basketball. Now, Bernie, again, the lone Catholic with the, with the two experiences.